Hi, my name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS, and I hope you're doing okay. Once again, it's the end of the week, and that means it's time for episode 11 of the update. So let's oge! Welcome back to the channel where each and every week I go over the week's latest apps, app updates and latest price drops so you can save a little money. Not only do I cover a heap of app reviews each week, but also live streams, rants, special guests, creating music, artist interviews and live performances. Are you a developer who would like to sponsor the update? Well, hit me up at jade at dreadcircus.com to find out how. I can help by featuring your app on a future update. All right, let's get into the updates. Okay, so let's take a look at this week's updates. As usual, I'm going to open up my app store, click on my little name over here, and take a look what's been updated on my iPad, because I have a lot of apps on here. So looks like Vithum VJ has been updated. Veloco has been updated. These are all just been done today. Google Chrome. Cord AI has got an update over here. Fixes uh, some bugs for iOS 18 beta. Lyrics recognition accuracy improvements for Cord AI Pro users. YouTube Studio, we love it when that gets updated as well. Spool has had an update. Octane Mobile has had an update. Bug fix where sounds weren't downloading and installing correctly. Lovely. We love that one. Done a demo on that one here on the show. KB1 Keyboard by Kai Aris has had an update. Fixed an issue where AUV3 could not load properly in some iPhone hosts. Music score, sheet music updated. A few of them here we don't need to worry about. I love this little app, this Moldive Templates Photo Editor. This thing's really old. It's been going for ages. Still getting updates, man. Still getting updates. That's really good to, to see. Spotify, meh, X, who cares? Documents, nearly every week, Documents has had an update. You know I love this app. It's fantastic. Music Memos is a, a smaller mixed down version, like condensed version of Chord AI. It, you don't have the ability to use YouTube and such to uh, transpose music and such, but that's had an update as well. Helium got an update. Oh, look, all the changes here. Added a new option to make it easy to send program changes if you set the controller when loading MIDI files in current mode. So a bunch of updates. I'm not going to read them all for you. You can work it out yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Video Leaps had an update as well. OPL AUV3 FM Synth has had an update. So 16 times oversampling for pristine Alias free sounds, optimized voice management for enhanced efficiency and performance. Whole bunch of updates there. Photoshop. Uh, who, does anyone use Photoshop anymore? I don't know. Um, speed test. Yes, I still have that thing on my <laughs> distro kid. Sponsors of the channel, they've updated their app, a few performance and enhancements, so that's really cool. They're continuously doing that. It is free to use. Photo Leap, another app I use a fair bit. DJI is stuff I use too. YouTube, God, that YouTube gets updated every couple of days. Uh, Hornet, Harmonic, uh, Harmonic IQ. Now, I haven't covered this yet, so there was a problem with the unlock for the features. I'm waiting for it to be fixed. From what I heard, it still hasn't been fixed. I'm hoping... It does get fixed soon, and then we'll cover it here on the channel. Moises has had an update. Moises is great. Capo support. Melavox got another update. There's a little problem going on with um, uh, Logic, I think. Now, I'm not sure if this is the one that's been updated. So if you're having a problem with Logic not uh, uh, keeping the presets, uh, no, here it is. So that was version 2. This has been fixed. So in some extreme cases, there was some crashing with session loads. That's been fixed. There's been another update yesterday. Paul's on it and looking after that baby. We love that. Uh, MIDI Messenger, Belize Sample Wiz, uh, the download button added on in-app purchase preset packs to order manually download previously bought packs instead of just hitting the restore all. AnyTune Pro, I love this app as well. Really handy for, uh, you know, uh, transcribing, a whole bunch of stuff there. Covered it on the channel if you want to check that out. That's had a bunch of updates here, so that's nice to see it's getting updates. Uh, THU Overloud has had a new Fender PBS rig library added, so it's an in-app purchase, I would suggest. App Raven, which we, we're using here on this show. I did a show on App Raven. It is the replacement for App Sliced. Had some bug fixes, performance improvements, lovely jubbly. Drum Computer had an issue with Ableton Link, which has been fixed. 
Final Cut Camera, which is the brand new camera which links into Final Cut Pro for iPad, had some updates, some issues with multicam sessions. Chat GPT is looking a bit sexier as well, had an update too. EG Pulse, man, a blast from the past. Great little uh, drum app. It's had some problems, got some fixes for um, host sync with Loopy Pro. So that's been fixed for you, Loopy Pro users. Final Cut Pro for iPad got an update, fixed an issue with multicam sessions. So that's in conjunction with the camera app. What else do we have? Uh, MIDI Fru's got an update. I covered that this week. Fantastic app indeed. Um, opener. This is a really cool app. This allows you to open other apps with this. It's it's a cool app to check out if you would like to. Microsoft stuff here. 8 Matrix. Fix the sampling rate. FL Studio. Uh, how many fixes in here? Let's click on this. Boom. I keep clicking the wrong button. That's me. Um, some zip file uh, export not working. Leave remainder. So a bunch of bug fixes in there. What else do we have? Uh, Demo songs had an update. TB Spectrogram uh, had some small bug fixes. Octocron constantly getting fixed. Octocron updates and all that kind of stuff. Background eraser. I love this thing. I use it all the time. I looked at that in one of my shows this week about thumbnails. If you want to go back and have a look at that. N-Track Studio continuously getting updated with new features. Lovely, lovely. Um, what else? Uh, Bleece Omega. So the back to the 80s new preset pack. I took a look at that on the channel this week. Go and check out that video. King of Digital, Nerd Synth, Saga Synth, King of Bass, all got lovely updates, and they're all the same, I think. So uh, many improvements under the hood here. Improvements under the hood. What else? Uh, LFO behavior sorted out. Uh, and in this one, I think, what did it say? Uh, updates. Popular request. It will now start with your last played preset in standalone mode. Nice. Little comfortable, sexy stuff there. Uh, sexy, I don't know what I'm talking about. And I think we are at last week's app, so we can close out of this. Pretty much everything here was from last week we've caught up. So let's jump out of here. And where are we going next? Well, you know where I'm going next. We're going over to App Raven for price drops and uh, show you how I get here. If you've seen the show over in menu over here, I click App Filter. Close this, and I have these little bookmarks that I click up the top, and I have price drops, latest updates, new apps. So we click on price drops, and here we go. The top few I'm going to kind of ignore. There's a conceptual guitar chord scales. So 10 bucks off these, it looks like. Guitar, modal, pentatonic scales. Um, but let's get down here, because every week, Paul from Four Pockets dumps a whole bunch of savings on us. This week, it's Surface Builder, down from 14 to 9.99, Copperhead, $9.99, New Rack, $8.99, and Neon, uh, $9.99, and Shimmer from $7.99 to $4.99. We'll keep scrolling until we find something that jumps out. Yes, uh, King of Digital, King of Bass, Nerd Synth, and SNES Synth, all on sale, about a uh, buck off for these ones, yeah, so down to $5.99, $3.99, $7.99, and $2.99. I Do Send Light is on sale, down from $2.99, AUBE, the wonderful little uh, AUV3 organizer from Fred Anton Corvest is down to $4.99. We love it. I do send the original, not the light version. That's down to free as well. So jump on it, go grab it, have some fun with it. Totally free. Now, these four pockets ones were from last week. You can see $8.99 back up to $12. So just ignore those. We'll keep scrolling some of these. Uh, you can see sometimes they're a bit out. They've gone back to their normal price. But if you keep scrolling down, you'll find more because Audio Thing have a whole bunch of apps on sale. Nearly all their apps, I do believe. Phil Cordia, uh, Wires, you can see $19.99 to $12. Noises, Hand Clapper, Mantis, Reels, uh, Dials, Things Texture, Springs, Vintage Reverb, uh, Things Bubbles, Crusher, Valves, Mini Bit, Gong Amp, Lines, the whole collection. You can see the prices down here. They're all like a, a buck off, some of them. Uh, this one's about half price here, Gong Amp. Uh, so yeah, some nice savings there. If you've been after your audio thing stuff, go get them now. Go support audio thing. They make fantastic apps. Absolutely no doubt about that. Synthmaster 1 and Synthmaster 2 still on sale, respectively $4.99 and $9.99. Tone Stack, 
was on sale. It's not now. Pure Piano and Pure Upright are both on sale, down from $29.99 to $14.99. As we go down, I think pretty much everything else down below here will have gone up. Yeah, so most of these have gone up. So let's get out of here. Oh, we'll cover this too. Before I've noticed some more, GSI has a big sale on as well too. So you've got Drum 80, Electro Orchestra, uh, Rotary, uh, time verb, all this kind of stuff. They're all on sale, so bucks off all of them. All of the GSI apps, the solo trumpets down from 19 to 14.99, Echo B2, very speed, genuine sounds. Now I've covered most of these on the channel. Bleece Sidekick is down from 7.99 to 4.99. More stuff here from GSI. Uh, we got the Red Animal, the Mini Orchestra, all still. Oh no, these have gone up. Uh, the oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one. These are all still on sale. Police, are these on sale? Yes, police is still in the game, baby. It's still in the game, except for it looks like um, uh, it looks like police sample whiz is off sale. So we've got uh, motion EQ, motion FX, fusion, arpeggiator, mute, uh, phase mutant, uh, granulizer, megalit. So yeah, most of. If not all, uh, it looks like Omega's not. We talked about Omega this week. <laughs> so, um, anything else? I think we're at the end of this. I think we can get out of here and stop this. Let's bounce out of here and head over to one of our favorite places here on the channel. This is thebeatcommunity.com. Save it to your favorites because it is constantly updated, not only with iOS stuff, but with desktop software samples and expansions. You'll find some iOS stuff in here as well, but iOS is where we're looking right now. Guitar amps and effects pedals has been updated. Now, this used to be called Step like this has been around uh, for a while it does have a pretty hefty kind of subscription thing but if you're into this it's free to download and subscribe to it but it's had an update with a whole bunch of new pedals and stuff drc in-app purchases are on offer from imaginando love that disco dsp have released thrill me auv3 compressor hopefully we'll cover this on the channel this week chem okay we love Chem. He's just dropped Note to B. This will be on the show next week as well. We'll take a, a deep dive into that. It looks really fun. Nice little MIDI quantizer. We covered four pockets. They do have sales on, but Helium did get a nice update with some juicy stuff in there as well. Desktop and iOS versions of Bleece Granulizer are on offer. AnyTune Pro has been updated. We looked at that. Now, Sonoda... Um, uh, graph sequen sequencer has been updated. The AUV3 used to be, uh, I think, an in-app purchase. I think it's now bundled in with it. From memory, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, four pockets sale starts today, which is August 15 for you, but August 16 for me. Desktop and iOS versions of SampleWiz are on offer, it says here. Um, what have we got? Four Audio Kit Pro apps. We've talked about those. They're on sale. MIDI Designer Pro X in-app purchase Offers, uh, where are we too? So Four Pockets have had an update for Mellovox. We talked about that. Disco DSP, update OPL, AUV3, FM synth. Gospel musicians have dropped two apps on us. They dropped the Rotary, the Gospel Rotary, and the... Uh, so let's have a look. Just bounce over here and have a quick look. So they dropped the Gospel Rotary, which we will be taking a look at um, early next week. That is, I already have it. Just got to find the time to get everything done, my friends. Hornet plugins release uh, harmonic harmonic cue. Is that how you say it? So we briefly talked about that. Hopefully, cover that next week. Here is the release of the Gospel Musicians organ. So next week we'll all be playing with our organs together. Come and join me for that. It's really nice sounding. It's a bit of a hybrid um, sampler and uh, modeling as well. So it's on desktop and iPad. It's $6.99. It's really cheap until my birthday on September 1st. So that's good news. Um, AUBE, Orbi, whatever you want to call it. Suggest has had an update. I really have to get to doing a show on that. Uh, Ryota Kira has updated KQ MIDI Modulate. And lastly here, uh, Alex Nadzarov. We've covered two of his apps in this bundle, the weirdly named MIDI plugins. We did MIDI Fruz this week, and you would have already seen dropped on the channel by the time this airs. The amazing, I'm super impressed by Take a MIDI. It's just an absolute game changer. All right, 
let's go over to Facebook. And I closed the wrong window there because we've got to talk about the Beat community. You should go over here and sign up to the Beat community. It is worth your time. Uh, it is uh, uh, The links are always in the description. Pinned comments normally floating through these videos as well. There's giveaways, always total updates. Look at this desktop giveaway, freebie alert. Uh, desktop freebie alert, I mean, but there's giveaways every now and again. Here's a, a desktop raffle, so you can get in on this. Ali makes it, he's got a fantastic Facebook page here and thebeatcommunity.com. And of course, you know, it's my favorite part of the show where we bounce over here <laughs> to Nino and the amazing, you're ready, let's do it, iPad OS and iOS audio units dash audio unit version 3 dash AUV3 Facebook group. It's awesome. Always up to date. Ali posts in here as well too. Lots of people there to help you as well. Nino's on it. He's constantly like giving updates. There's giveaways as well. And if you come over here and, 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 and join this group, you're going to get like inside knowledge of future apps that are coming out because he's, he's on the pulse, our friend Nino. I think we should get him on the show at some stage for an interview. What do you think about that? Because he's uh, he's been doing a lot of work behind the scenes, reaching out to desktop developers and getting them on board to create iOS apps. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, it's time. Well, that is episode 11 of the update in the bag for another week. And as usual, there's always something to get excited about if you're making music on iOS. Remember, apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need to collect them all, just the ones that help you make your best music. If you're enjoying the content here on the channel, please let me know in the comments below and by hitting the like, doing the subscribe and ringing the bell to be notified of future videos and live streams. Another way you can help is, I don't know, maybe grab a channel membership for a dollar or become a Patreon for a dollar a month. Five dollar a month Patreons get access to win the apps that I cover on the channel and I master your music each and every Saturday on an unlisted Patreon live stream. Well, I hope you have a great weekend. And until then, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. We'll all rise together. Stay awake and let's soge.